adversely impact environment the industrial development is must for the growth of a nation's economy nation's economy and a prosperity but it it has taken place at the cost of a quality of an environment industries which are generally has utilized by the most number of developed economies of a world to achieve their developmental goals of a eradication of poverty unemployment and achieving as the high per capita income but it adversely impact over a environment industries have caused as a land air water and noise pollutions industries have also contributed to the global warming which in turn have affected the existence of a biodiversity including as a men also so protection of environment this is as the demand of a present economies present economies which has followed under the sustainable development so as we read in the first chapter of a geography that sustainable development that kind of a development in which as a without harming environment when we achieving our developmental goals is a sustainable development so at present in present scenario in present scenario all the countries are desired to protect to put their efforts for a protection of a environment with growth of economy so first as a first type of the pollution the environmental degradation as the air pollution smoke from industries and the thermal power stations are the major contributors to the air pollution in environment it causes the presence of a undesirable greenhouse gases in the atmosphere like sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide in a larger quantities larger proportions the airborne disease airborne disease it affected the large number of a population population which has extended in a larger extensive area not bounded by the boundaries of a country the airborne particulates matters like dust fumes spray mist ash smoke from the cement plants brick kilns industries petrochemical refineries burning of a fossil fuels pollute air toxic gases leaks and radiation can leave the long lasting effects on plants birds animals and human beings also so there one of the example which is associated with the indian history as a bhopal gas tragedy remember you read about it in a eighth standard bhopal gas tragedy occur in which year yes bhopal gas tragedy occur in which year path anand path bhopal gas tragedy occur in which year the 1960s 18 sorry 1984 1984 yes aditi with the release with the emission of a which gas responsible for a bhopal gas tragedy which caused as the death of a hundreds of a hundreds of a workers what was the name of a gas yes aditi it was as a methyl isocyanide methyl isocyanide mishti very good methyl isocyanide dele- release from the industry which leads to the death of a workers bhopal gas tragedy so such kind of the gases when they are emit in a larger quantities which pollutes the environment in such of the circumstances human beings human beings are prone to develop as the health problems respiratory and eye problems discoloration coloration of a hair and hair falls skin cancers etc badly affect the human beings life span reduces reproduction gets affected and general health of plants and animals deteriorate a large number of a migratory birds migratory birds in india their breeding it affected due to as a emission of a such harmful gases to the industries second as a water pollution 
water pollution water pollution is caused by the discharge of organic and inorganic waste and domestic uh, domestic waste and industrial effluents in a rivers and a seas there are the various reasons responsible for the water pollution in recent in time last month last month in a kritic life oil spillage in a kritic islands led to the threat to the aquatic life so different number of various reasons are responsible for the water pollution in which as a first as industries those industries like as a textiles cotton textiles where the for washing and the dyeing purposes water use afterwards the dyeing the clothes water directly discharge in a river water river waters water discharge in a river waters paper pulp chemicals petrochemical refineries petroleum refineries electroplating etc cause as a water pollution they discharge as the dyes detergents acids salts heavy metals like as a mercury lead synthetic chemicals with the carbon plastics paints etc through which as a underground water polluted underground water polluted their best example bathinda's thermal power plant their production has stopped by the state government because of a increasing the lead content in a underground water because of a lead content increasing in a underground water because of which as a thermal power plant their production has a stop by the state government second as the oil spillage is yet the another another source of a water pollution oil which leakage from the ships leads to the threat to the aquatic life third as the ash phosphor gypsum iron and steel slags are solid waste in india causing as a pollution of water another reason responsible for the water pollution as the water the water which we drink and the food we eat get contaminated and affected our health it affected our health this does not leave the water fit for the using for any purpose drinking agriculture domestic and even industrial uses even fish in a polluted water and the crops in a fields get contaminated which adversely impact over a growth of a human being so for solving as a such problem of a water pollution in our state punjab there is a one of the social activists is a most active in relation to protection conservation of a water bodies yes can anybody give me the name of that dignitary padam shri awarded what what is the name of that person social activist which is known for the which is known for the protection of our water bodies yes prabhnur singh prabhnur singh yes anybody tarandeep tarandeep kaur raise your hand tarandeep kaur raise your hand singh sichewal sunaye naam sant balveer singh sichewal social activist 3 years back due to as a uh, industrial water which threat to the life of a uh, crocodiles in a bias river for which as a, he worked he is known for the no, he is uh, known because of the put their efforts for a cleaning of a kali bay in a sultanpur lodi associated with the first guru of a uh, sikhism gurunanak dev ji so sant balveer singh sichewal put their efforts for a conservation of a water bodies in a punjab so due to their his efforts his efforts in many number of a uh, this uh, many uh, number of a uh, villages in a uh, tarantaran where as a water treatment plants are set up through which as a domestic waste water utilized for a uh, agricultural purposes as you familiar that the in punjab punjab is the one of the states where as a skin uh, water scarcity has lies we learned in a third chapter of a uh, geography 
water scarcity. So Sant Balbir Singh Sichewal were put their efforts for a conservation of water bodies in Punjab. Third pollution as a thermal pollution. Thermal pollution. Thermal pollution. Thermal pollution of water occurs when hot water, hot water from factories and thermal power plants are directly drained into the rivers and lakes. This increases the temperature of water. As a result, aquatic plants and animals, they get affected. Waste from the nuclear power plants and gas leakages cause as the birth defects, miscarriages and the body deformities, which causes as the cancer also. So thermal water, water which is discharged from the thermal power stations and the nuclear power stations, it should be as a properly treated. Afterwards, it should be as a drain out in a water bodies. Proper treatment is as required, which we'll be discussing later. Next, as a land pollution, dumping of the garbage, waste of any kind, waste of any kind, which degrades the land and anything that grows and lives on a land. Seepage of a water carries the pollutant chemicals, salts, soluble paints, colors, effluents, fertilizers, pesticides to the groundwater. When rain has occurred in such areas where the pesticides use in a larger quantities, larger quantities, pesticides, insecticides, fertilizers use in a larger quantities, water mixed with the rain water mixed with the such chemical materials, chemical materials and percolates beneath the layers of earth crust through which the underground water it getting contaminated. So, which cause as the underground water pollution. It leaves as the soil and the land useless. You all visited as the Chandigarh in your past. All the number of metropolitan cities having their dumping grounds where garbage discharged from the industries, from a domestic areas, it has dumped in a open surfaces, which leads to the land degradation, land pollution, deprived the quality of a land resource. Next as a noise pollution, which is caused by the use of different machines for manufacturing, like scrapping, grinding, cutting, mixing, drilling, blasting. To the, to, to the use of a such number of machines, when the noise cause, which is as a hazardous for the hearing, which leads to the hearing problems. So besides as the construction activities, the pneumatic drills, saws, and generators are they also cause as the noise pollution. Such unwanted noises cause as the psychological, physiological problem, which leads to the in the end as a blood pressure, hearing impairment, and stress among the masses. So these are the major sources of a pollution in our environment, which leads to the environmental degradation. To overcome the such problems, efforts are desire, desirable, not only from the side of the government, people's participation is also required. People's participation is also required in relation to the conservation of environment. Measures to control as the environmental pollution, this is as the required for the present economy where all countries are trying to achieve as their developmental goals by exploiting their nature exploiting their natural resources. Environmental pollution is the outcome of industrialization. US is the most developed economy of our world, but in all, as compared to the other economies, United States of America is the leading country for emission of a greenhouse gases. Why? Because they are achieving their developmental goals to the set up the industries was through the such industries, the number of pollutants increasing in environment. Rate of industrialization is faster than the rate at which the environment can uh, recapturate itself. The foremost duty of a man as a consumer is to protect environment from its slow death. Pollution can be prevented by the better technology and design of machines and processing 
appropriate selection of fuel and increase use of a biodegradable materials growing pollution absorbing the plants in large numbers near the industrial establishments and water bodies will definitely reduce as the pollution every liter of a waste water discharged by industries pollutes eight times the quantity of fresh water it is necessary to reduce as industrial pollution of industrial pollution of fresh water nearest to the jalandhar in ludhiana there is as a budda nala uh, what this is as a source to which the water drain out to the ludhiana so complete of ludhiana's industrial domestic waste discharge to the that water drainage system it that budda nala has moving to the farmers they utilize the such water for the irrigation purposes so to which as a land degradation has also caused in our state so there are the some of the efforts some of the system suggestions in relation to the reduction of pollution of water by the industry sir first recycling and reusing the water in industries by installing water treatment plants in various stages water treatment plants in various stages for example the first stage as the primary stage in which as grinding screening flocculation and a sedimentation of a waste by the mechanical processes mechanical processes in secondary stage which includes as a biological processing third uh, tertiary stage as includes as a biological chemical and physical processing this process is based on a recycling of water recycling of a waste water which can utilize again in industry again in a same industry or thermal power plants nuclear power stations or for a agricultural purposes second as the increase the use of a rain water for meeting the requirements and replenishing the underground water we learned about the rain water harvesting techniques in a third chapter of a geography yes anybody give me the three examples associated with the green rain water harvesting techniques in india yes anybody give me the meaning what it means as inundational channels inundational channels this is one of the techniques of rain water harvesting inundational channels and where these are practicing in india yes 10th class 10th channels inundational channels in which part of a country these are picked, uh, basically followed by the people under the conservation of a rain water rooftop is a one thing rooftop rain water harvesting technique has adopted in a tamil nadu tamil nadu where the rain water has collected in a rooftop area such rooftop areas are connected with misti okay canals that are linked with the canals are generally as used for obtaining the water from the rivers obtaining water from rivers indira gandhi canal which is used for a water very good ashin ashin is a familiar with this in a western bengal west bengal west bengal inundational channels narrow channels are built along the agricultural fields such channels such ditches these are uh, filled with the rain water during the rainy season when the off season is there water requirement is there under such circumstances such narrow channels ditches which are built up along as a agriculture fields use for a irrigating a land very good ashin good knowledge second as a underground tankas will be used for a collection of rain water this was our chapter manufacturing industries any queries any questions any questions related with the manufacturing industries am i audible yes so question answers 
Which one of the following industries uses the limestone as a raw material? Cement. Cement. First B. Which one of the following agencies? Yes. Which one of the following agencies markets the steel for a public sector plants? C. Steel Authority of India Limited. B. Second B. Which one of the following industries uses the bauxite as a raw material? Bauxite as a raw material. Aluminium smelting. Aluminium smelting. Which one of the following industries manufactures telephones, computer, etc. IT based industries, information technology industries. Information technology. What is a manufacturing? Manufacturing are the processes used for a transformation of a raw material into the usable items, into finished goods. Raw material transform into the finished goods. Name any three physical factors for the location of the industry. Land, climate, water, raw material. Name any three human factors for the location of an industry. Human factors. Human factors as capital, government policies, capital, government policies, power supply, regular power supply, labor, labor. What are the basic, fourth question, what are the basic industries? Basic industries are those which are supportive for a growth in economy. Supportive for growth in economy. Iron and steel industries are known as a basic industries which are supportive for a growth in a other sectors, growth in other industries, like as a iron required for setting up the infrastructure, manufacturing of machines, etc., automobiles, etc. Fifth is a name the important raw materials used in a manufacturing of cement. Important raw materials used in a manufacturing of cement. Silica, limestone, silica, limestone. It has given on a page number, yes. Silica, limestone, gypsum, given on page number 73 clear 73 limestone silica gypsum required for a manufacturing of a cement next how are integrated steel plants different from a mini steel plants integrated steel plants steel plants those where Integrated steel plants are those where these are the large scale units of iron and steel industries. Iron and steel industries where the transformation, transformation of a iron ore into the usable items occur at the same place. Occur at a same place. And integrated steel plants is a large handles everything in a one complex one complex from putting together the raw material to the steel making all the different manufacturing processes associated with the transformation of a iron ore into the iron ore into the rods into the usable items are occurred at the same place whereas a mini steel plants are those where manufacturing stages manufacturing stages associated with the iron and steel are separately occurred in a different industries many steel plants are the smaller have electric furnaces use the steel strap and sponge iron they have three rollers that use the steel ingots as well they produce as a mild and alloy steel of given specification means different processes associated with the Transformation of a iron ore into the usable items are separately occurred in a different number of a steel plants, mini steel plants. What problems does the industry face? In the, this industry has facing as a problem of a erratic power supply, erratic power supply, erratic power supply. Second, low productivity of labor low productivity of labor third 
deficiency of raw material 60% of iron ore exported towards as a japan so that's why as a problem of a raw material for this industry so what recent developments have led to a rise in the production capacity for the rise in the production activity for which india opted as a liberalization through which fdi occur foreign direct investment foreign direct investment supportive for a growth of iron and steel industries such iron and steel industries are decentralized among the decentralized among the private companies with to which as more support given to the growth of iron and steel industries second long question how do the industries pollute the environment industries pollute the environment the forms of a pollution which, which we discussed land pollution noise pollution water pollution thermal pollution noise pollution land water thermal pollution air pollution discuss the steps to be taken to minimize the environmental degradation for which as at the last we discussed as a treatment plants at different stages of a treatment plants it should be as a implement for a conservation of environment protection of a environment from protection of environment from degradation from degradation all these points clear this was our chapter manufacturing industries any questions any questions yes any questions in next week we will start as a next chapter lifelines of indian economy